and we're on Jazz Street with, please state your name for the records, gentlemen. Chris Brubeck. Uh, Dan Brubeck. The Brubeck Brothers here in Rochester. Welcome back to The Rock, and thank you so much for coming here. And uh, we were just talking about life as a musician. It's running and moving and then playing. Right. So, uh, somehow playing fits in there. But it's, you know, air, airplanes and gigs and coming back from Europe and getting in after midnight and hoping your baggage isn't lost, all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah well, I, I had a similar long trip yesterday from started out on an island outside of Vancouver and ferry rides and airplanes and multiple, you know, stopovers but yes we got here so he started in france and i started uh, almost near alaska so <laughs> speaking with the brewback brothers here on jazz 90.1 so that said how do you guys keep your sanity i mean growing up in that world obviously it's one thing but to do it and keep your sanity and keep the music fresh how do you guys do it well we 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 keep the music fresh by all of us are involved in different kinds of projects you know so it's like never a grind to play together because it's like oh good we get to play together again kind of thing despite the decades we've been together you know um yeah i don't know we we just we keep playing together i forgot what the question was i was listening to your uh, how, do you keep, how do you keep your sanity Oh, our sanity. Yeah, that question. Yeah, That's the part we lost. Yeah. <laughs> As if. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think really the music is what keeps you sane. You know, it's very grounding and, uh, you know, all the other stuff is crazy. But the actual music part is sort of the spiritual grounding, uplifting part that, you know, hopefully puts smiles on other people's faces and and keeps us happy in life. So it's worth all the other craziness, yeah. We're speaking with the Brubeck Brothers here on Jazz 90.1. For many kids like myself, growing up, listening to your dad's music, it's, well, it was introduced to lots, millions of people to jazz, but you guys heard that music first. What was that like growing up in that household and with your mom and your dad? Well, when you're a kid and these people are around you, you don't know a different family, a different mom and dad. And, you know, Uncle Paul's Paul Desmond, and, yeah. you know, and Uncle Joe had taught Dan was Joe Morello, and... Uncle Gene Wright showed me some bass things, you know, it's like, and Jerry Mulligan. I mean, these were just people in the house, and we didn't know any better or different. We just said all musicians were that damn good. <laughs> yeah, it gave us something to, uh, you know, have to live up to, you know, to try to get as good as those guys was a challenge at a young age, you know. I mean, not that we got there even, but, we, you know, we had something to l look towards, you know. Well, you can see the fruitage of their labors and their efforts tonight at the Harrow East at 5.30 and 7.15. Again, we can't thank you enough to the Brubeck Brothers. And again, welcome back to Rochester. Well, thank you. It's great to see you again. And it's great to be in a town where I bet you the musical IQ is a lot higher here from all the Eastman spill out and the jazz festivals and stuff. <laughs> That's probably true. Huh? You're going to find that out in a few minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll report back right. later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, Thanks, give, guys. we'll give a review of the audience. <laughs> thank you very much.